Greetings, dear heart. It's Miss D. I'm here today um, getting ready to create my weekly entry on a video. And so I'm continuing to do DIYs until I can get editing under control. I'm just doing quick little DIYs so that I can get a weekly upload. I have made some nice um, projects and recorded them, but I'm still struggling in the editing department. Um, I don't know. I bought several softwares and they're each time I try to upload them to YouTube, I'm getting an error message that they failed. I hope today that I've kind of figured out what's going on. Um, I'm thinking it has something to do with I try to add photos in the beginning and YouTube doesn't accept photos as um, video and they no longer let you edit on YouTube anymore. So um, I think that's making um, them fail. And then also there's something in the software that when I try to upload to YouTube other than the photos, um, it's just not jiving right. So what I can do is just make very simple recordings on my um, laptop here and uh, just send those straight to you to kind of really not edit it much. Um, something seems to go wrong and all that. But I, I'm going to continue on working trying to figure the editing out. I'm getting really frustrated. Um, it is really hard. So with this being my video diary, I did want to sit down and talk about the frustration of having such a strong desire to want to do the videos, to do the crafts, and to have the channel and have one blocking point, this editing. Um, I guess I could spend a lot of money and go get somebody to train me or spend a lot of money and get a whole lot of... Um, software, um, but I'm just not going to do that right now. I it, it frustrates me, and I know that there's a way that this can be done without spending all that money. So I'm hoping any of the YouTubers that's been around for a while, if you happen to just bump into this video, if you could just help a sister, help a fellow creator, figure out an uh, inexpensive way um, to get a software that I can create videos, edit them, and get them uploaded on YouTube. I would appreciate that. I would call that community. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to make small little somethings that I can post on my channel until the better videos can be made. A frustrated Miss D here, but one that's continuing on. Um, sorry about the week or two that there's been nothing. It's not like I'm not recording them. I'm just having the tr trouble getting them up, but my fix is to just do something. So if you're interested in seeing how Ms. D handles um, setbacks, stay tuned because I am going to create a turntable for um, my supplies for my desk. So if you're interested in seeing what I come up with, stay tuned. Okay, dear horse, what we're going to need for a list of supplies for this will be some cardboard to cut out our base. We'll need um, a Lazy Susan. I opted for one that I bought this time instead of using the marbles on the dollar store. We'll need some glue, our hot glue gun. Um... A center piece and some contact paper for decorating um, our turntable, a napkin holder, and drawers, both of which I got from the dollar store. Scissors and a marker, and probably our X Acto knife and a uh, it's optional, but a, a brush to paint on the glue. So I'm just going to cut from the cardboard a round circle for a base. I have one, but I want to cut at least two. 
and maybe even three. So what I'm going to do is take the cardboard, open it up so that I have a nice flat piece to work from. So I'm just going to go down the seam. And see if I have a piece big enough. I do. So I'm going to cut down the seam one more time. Again, um, using cardboard, you could use trays from the dollar store, or um, you could use plastic plates or even um, regular dishes. But I love working with cardboard because it's so inexpensive and you can um, mold so many different shapes. All right. So I have my cardboard. The circle I have, um, will use for my template. And I'm just going to trace that out with the marker. I tell you, Crafting is my relaxation. I'm already feeling better. And I am going to keep this one whole video so I can just upload it simply um, and not have to edit. Because it is my goal to, to, to keep making videos weekly. And I'm just going to do that on the other piece of cardboard. Let's trace the circle. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take the extra pieces of cardboard, use the whole box, and make some strips that you'll see what I do with those a little bit later. I did um, think about putting a base on this uh, project. So I'm simply going to just make strips in case I do want to put a base on here. Looking for my ruler. I'm just going to cut some strips. And I'll show you what I do with those in a moment. I'm making them about a, a inch and a half wide a piece. This doesn't have to be exact. I'm just going to cut those out really fast. Use the exacto knife. Scoring it. And then just cut it. This is a great piece of cardboard to make this project out of. Um, 
Um, if you know anything about me, you know I love cardboard. And this is a great piece. As you can see, it has that double ply um, corrugation going on right here that makes strength. And one last piece. And we're just going to set those two aside for right now. And take our cardboard. circles and cut those out. I'm going to use the exacto knife again to do that. When you're using the exacto knife, the best thing to do is go out and uh, score your piece first. And then go back one more time and it'll cut right through. And then one more time to cut it through. I'm going to um, finish cutting this through. I'm going to pause because I'm going to do both pieces. And then I'll come right back. I'm trying to keep this video from being too long. So, dear hearts, we have our pieces of cardboard both cut out. What we're going to do from here is um, glue them on together. Um, I'm thinking I want the uh, shelf to look a little... Um, strong. So what I will do is take those strips that we made and cut each one in half. It'll give a little more structure, more finished look to the project after we fill it in and it'll actually make it the shell stronger. So I'm just cutting them in half and I'm just going to simply Bend them kind of in half and glue them onto one of the pieces of cardboard. And that'll give us a little um, drum look. Our shelf is stood up about that high. So I'm going to do that all the way around. And then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, dear host, I'm just about done gluing the braces down. I have two more to go. And uh, we'll be able to put the top part on. What all I'm simply doing is making sure they're even, folding them directly in half, and putting some glue on the bottoms. And letting them open up just a little bit to a V shape so that it's a brace. One more to go. Simply going to fold it in half. Make sure they're even. 
and then glue the bottom to the board. And that'll give us support inside our um, rolling table. Then the next thing we're going to do is just place the other circle on top of that. And that'll give us a good base for our um, tools. What I do want to do is trim around the sides to make it as smooth as I possibly can. to get the circle as smooth as possible. And do that to the other, to the bottom piece too. Trimming up the sides. I think I'll put one more brace right there in the middle. Fold it in half. Right on this line. So, it, sometimes cardboard, you can get these bins. So I'm just going to brace that. Depends on where you cut them, how you cut them. I like the smooth side up. And one more right. This other little piece. Make sure these pieces are strong. The linen blue for security. Keep it from buckling. It'll have enough weight that it won't do that. But just for safety's sake, I'm going to do this. Just filling that groove so it'll keep it straight. And then put one right down here. I'm going to glue on the top and then trim that. And then we can um, get ready to add our Lazy Susan. Just filling in that ridge. Not all pieces will have that. It's just to have to cut that on a fold. So 
I'm just straightening it up. Once you work with cardboard, you'll get used to it. Okay, so now we're just going to simply take our top and glue that on. So what I'm going to do is just glue all the tops of these really quickly. I'm going to work quick on this part so the glue doesn't dry. My glue gun doesn't really cooperate. Okay. I think I got them all. Trying to line those up. I'm gonna line that whole toe. Gotta to make sure we have it centered. And just add a little pressure. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then um, come back and we're gonna I'm gonna add the trim around the sides. I'm just going to glue this on like this for my base and I'll come back. Dear Hearts, I just wanted to pop back on real quick to kind of let you see what I'm doing. I'm just simply gluing the um, trim around covering the inside of the barrel. Just simply putting the glue on top and bottoms and uh, setting it kind of in. The other thing I wanted to show you is that we will get a good spin. What I'm going to do off camera is I have the Lazy Susan here. I'm just going to attach it to these four. going to glue these together and then glue it on top of here and then we'll be on, on the next step uh, where we're kind of preparing to load the um, turntable. I did want you to see, this will be my bottom row, the row closest to the um, Lazy Susan. And then this will be my top row. I want to decoupage it, so I want to show you now that this is the design I'm using for my top. We're just going to take um, our centerpiece and lay our top on t onto that. Um, after we build our shelves and whatnot here. But I wanted you to see it before I put it on um, the Lazy Susan because I'm going to just coat it with a, a little decoupage so it can be shiny. I'm going to do that off camera and I'll come back and have all these pieces put together and then show you. So dear hearts, I am um, adding the Mod Podge. I call it decoupage. For some reason, I always call it decoupage. Mod Podge, I mean Mod Podge, Degapodge, but it's Mod Podge that I'm using on my top. It, it goes on white, but it dries clear and kind of glossy. So I just wanted to make sure that you saw a little bit of this process. I'm just going in a circular motion like the um, cardboard itself getting it really coated. I may do one more layer after this one dries. Degapage. I always say instead of Mod Podge. Mod Podge is what gives the clear shiny coat. Okay, let that dry and continue on gluing this together. I'll be right back.
Now I'm just going to take the base part and kind of file it a little bit too. Make it smooth. You can either um, paint it or cover it with um, cloth or paper, your choice of how you decorate your base bases for your turntable. I think I'm going to um, put contact paper on mine that kind of going to match the room. I'm kind of taking this D spot and um, revamping it. I'm going to change the colors into gray and white. And so I think I'm going to put some gray and white paper on this, uh, contact paper on this. Just as an accent around the room. So I'm just sanding the sides, just smoothing those out. You don't want any lumps underneath the contact paper. So I'm going to smooth it out now. We're just going to clean some of that away really quickly. I'm going to just glue this turntable. I'm not going to bother to cover the bottom onto the base, and I'm going to make sure that I'm getting it. Even so, I'm going to do some test spins. Make sure it's centered. So, I think what I'm going to do is Notice if your circle isn't as round as it could be, your spin looks a little off. So standing helps and being really particular when you make your circle. Just um Which part I'm supposed to glue, so I guess we'll experiment. We can 
always pop it off with the hot glue. Just kind of experiment. Okay, I'm going to cover this with some contact paper. I'm really trying to make the video shorter. I think everybody knows how to use contact paper. So I'm just going to come back when I'm starting to load the um, tray up. Dear hearts, I'm just about finished wrapping the clean wrap around the um, turntable. I have already put the lining, shelf lining on the top, and I'm just simply now embellishing. Just wanted you to see how the progress was going. So I'm going to um, wrap. A bling wrap all the way around. Probably run a line of um, the silver beads on the top and the bottom of that just for looks for the flowers. And then load this. I'll come back when I get to the um, how I'm going to stock this, the bottom layer, the top I think I'm going to leave blank to hold supply, to hold materials for crafts that I'm going to be making. I'm just simply running glue around and wrapping. Catching the edges on the top, but not really worrying about it because I am going to run a line of uh, the beads. It's beautiful, right? I hope you can see the sparkle it's giving. I'm just going to snip that. and glue it into place. Right here where we see that, that's where we're going to put the um, beads. And I'll come back when I'm doing that and we're we'll reloading this. Well, dear hearts, we're finished. I loaded it temporarily just so that you could see it um, with things on it, the glue gun and the, the drawers that hold um, little items like beads and glue and those kind of things. You can see it can hold a lot. And we have the whole top still 
empty, what I plan to do a temporary um, so that it can come off and I can um, reload or I can use um, it to store things while I um, do a project like my scissors or crafts that I need for a particular um, project can just be on top while I um, have my everyday supplies here. I hope you like this. I am really pleased with it. I think it is beautiful. Again, we have the gray and white because um, Miss D's spot is going to change. I'm going to um, change the colors of the room so it's going to be gray and white with hints of blue. And so this will fit in really nice now and I have a place for all my crafts. I really enjoyed making this project. I can see myself making another few. I'm thinking of taking shelves out and having Lazy Susan's um, instead of the shelves that I made. If you like, please um, let me know. Give me a comment in the comment area. Subscribe and share if 